Big tech discrimination, not just against conservative influencers and commentators, but also now going after businesses that don't fit their agenda. Payment processors like PayPal and others cutting off vendors from their platforms, even commandeering the business's accounts and funds, all for not fitting the narrative. Well, one Tennessee firm was cut off from using a payment processor for making American flags that were supportive of former President Donald Trump. The big tech giant then grabbed $100,000 of his money, and he had a fight to get it back. His state lawmaker is now fighting back. To discuss, let's bring in James Stockey. He's the owner of Your American Flag Store and Tennessee House of Representatives member Monty Fritz. Good afternoon to you both, gentlemen. Uh, James, hey, James, you for your time. Uh, great to have you here. James, set this up for us briefly. What happened to you? Uh, we were making American flags with our business. Uh, we started it in California. It allowed us to move out to Tennessee. Um, and about four months after we moved to Tennessee, uh, we uh, we were attacked by three different uh, big tech companies, all used their platforms to kind of shut us down. Uh, PayPal was one of them. And um, after a very successful ad campaign, um, we uh, finally kind of had the capital to actually expand our business and grow. Mm. And it was at that time that PayPal held 100% of the money that was in that bank. Yeah. At that time, it was $100,000. In the subsequent yeah. weeks, it grew to a little over $100,000. And they held on to that money for uh, months without yeah. any real indication of why until Harmeet Dillon got involved and started fighting to get us back our money. Yeah, Took Mr. Her, uh, yeah, Mr. Fritz, you, you've now authored a bill in Tennessee that could end up serving really as a model for other states to prevent this type of thing from happening. Tell us about it. Yes, sir. Our, our bill simply will revise uh, Title 47 of the Tennessee State Code uh, to protect small businesses like Mr. Stockey's from predatory practices by online payment uh, processing system. Uh, we hold that uh, monopolistic behavior by large companies is not fair to Tennessee small businesses, and we're resolved that this is not going to be permitted in our state. Yeah, the bill uh, establishes the ability for the state attorney general to uh, to engage in, in the support of Tennessee small businesses on this. It establishes a greater transparency requirement for those big tech firms and they're dealing with Tennessee small businesses. You know, we even had a feature on this in Newsmax magazine uh, last month. You know, the, these platforms were supposed to encourage dialogue. They were supposed to be a resource for businesses like yours, James. But now they've become censors. They're trying to control speech. When did you finally get your money back? Uh, Harmeet got them to release uh, bits of it over 11 months, but it wasn't until it was at 11 months that we finally got the last uh, bit back. They were, oddly enough, after putting us through that ordeal for almost 11 months, their last condition was that they wanted us to sign a non-disclosure agreement uh, before they would give us the last $10,000 back. Um, I mean, obviously, they didn't want us telling the world what, what they had done. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, get, I bet you didn't do that, huh? No, we <laughs> definitely did not. We definitely did not do that. M Mr. Fritz, Republicans it should be all over this, but I'm sure big tech, I mean, to, to James's point, is really going to fight this bill that you have. Are they coming after you and your colleagues already? Um, I, I don't know that I would use the term coming after, but we have got lots, uh, gotten lots of lobbyist interest in this bill, and some merited. Uh, I actually uh, pushed back the, the final date of during this bill back into the first calendar of next year to make sure that we've got everything captured. We want to make sure that we are protecting our senior citizens against predatory practices, um, and, and that was one of the first lobby concerns that we had. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we are intent that these unfair and deceptive business practices are not going to be tolerated in the state of Tennessee. And unfortunately, uh, we have for so long in our country allowed that which is evil or wrong to be declared as good or right. And sometimes we have a hard time discerning between the two. Well, and so uh, we're going to help these folks understand what's right. Well, I, I wish you I wish you both luck. This is uh, this is definitely a noble cause uh, and uh, and something that, as I mentioned, you know, could be replicated in other parts of the country. James Stockey and Representative Monty Fritz, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you so much, Thanks, Tom.